All right, hello, anyone watching this at the moment? Today I'm showing a tutorial on realistic blood splatter, Sony Vegas, or After Effects. Today, since I always make Sony Vegas tutorials, I'm going to do another Sony Vegas one. Um, so you can do it in any other program that has blending and chroma keying and everything like that. So what you're going to do is go on Images on Google. I'll type in Blood. And then splatter should show up un under one of them. Then you just click that. Then has all these images that you could click on. I downloaded this one right here already. It's white. It's not transparent. So that's all you need. That's actually perfect. What you need. So next, X out of that. And then you're gonna load up Sony Vegas. I'm gonna use Pro 10. I like that's like the best one out so far. Pro 11 might be good too, but oh well. Get my new computer next week. Hopefully, I can get that before Pro 11 comes out. Then I can't get it anymore, really. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the blood splatter effect. So let's go to videos. Open any clip. I'll open this. Not a very good clip to do this on, but oh well. Properties, disable, resample, all the usual stuff. Alright, so, um, what you're gonna do, simply just, uh, make a new video track. And also add a color correction to this bottom layer. Alright, here, I don't really care where I'm gonna put the blood splatter. It's not like I'm editing anything. So by the way, um, Magic Bowl looks 2.0 came out. It's really sexy. Um, you can get it for any of your computers. It's compatible to almost everything. You just can't have like uh, anything lower than Windows XP or anything like that. It's not as perfect as the other one because it's a different version, but it works great still. So um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like real quick. It's what the screen looks like now. It's way different. It has a lot of other stuff still. All this stupid stuff. I'm just going to make a color correction real quick. Let's add usual stuff. Let's add this. I don't really care. So now, X out of that. That's what it looks like now. It's pretty cool. You can get it for After Effects too, but I suggest just using the old version for After Effects. Alright, so that's a pretty decent color correction. But now we're going to get into the thing I was talking about earlier. So what you're going to do is open up that picture you made. So, um, I made a download off uh, Google. So here it is. Let's give it a sec. I'm going to put the properties um, for the quality right now in draft in half. So now it's kind of blurred out, but oh well. I'm gonna um disable resample. Now crop. What you want to do is start it out in an area that's away. So I'm gonna crop it like that. Zoom in really about that far, and um just drag it to right here. A little bit smaller. All right, that's good. And now I'll make it a couple seconds. Not seconds. I'm um, like. A small split second. Restore story, curve it a bit, and drag it even farther out, kind of like that. But now, um, the good part is when um, you do this, you go to chroma key. You have to use two things: chroma keyer and Gaussian blur. So first, go in chroma keyer, take off high threshold and blur amount, take those both off to zero and put all the way low threshold now the screen is completely see-through it makes it look kinda uh, weird though like um it looks really fake right here I'll put on best and full give it a sec to load my computer sucks alright here it is and um it looks okay but what you're gonna do go to gauss and blur go to reset to none put uh... this on 16 or on 11 and then put the other one on 11 or 16 whatever you chose and it blurs it out perfectly 
where it looks like it's just on the lens. Like, I don't know how it looks really when it's both 16. It looks kind of too blurry to me when I have it like that. See, it's kind of blurry to me, but oh well. I'll just keep it on that, see how it looks. So now since I did that, I'll just act like you just got like a triple or something. And uh, put on draft in half, and you're just going to pre-render that small part of what he got. So you click Shift B while you highlight over everything, and it'll pre-render what you see. So, um, yeah, so uh, let's just see how it turns out. And then, um, at the end, it'll just be a great little tutorial I made. I'm about to go golfing, so I'm going to render this out, upload it. See the blood comes flying in right there, but I bet it looks pretty nice because it's like a split second. It was like two shots of that gun, and that gun shoots really fast too. So I'll stop it right here. Now let's see how it turned out. Oh, well, it's hard to see. Let's see again. Oh, well, it's really hard to see it, but you could just adjust the s speed any way you want it. Not too hard, not too easy either. You could do this also making it really small and flying off people's heads. That's not what other people do, that's actually just an overlay you use in After Effects. But um, if you wanted to do that it would look almost the same thing. But um, yeah, this is basically how to do it. And I'll put it in the description how to get Magic Bullet looks 2.0. On this guy, uh, I looked at his channel and he had a tutorial on it and how to get it again. But the other version is kind of hard to get, but this is just sexy stuff. Like, see that color correction? I made that in like three seconds. Alright, but um, thanks for watching. The blood splatter turned out great. And um, if you want any more tutorials, After Effects or Vegas, just let me know. Alright, peace out.